up, lads? Welcome back to the Sulky Channel. My name is Sander, and welcome to a rather different video. As you see, I've recently come back into making videos and everything, and it's been great. I love it. I am enjoying being back, and I'm glad to have you guys again. I've missed you. But to be honest, part of the fact that made me burn out so much was the fact that the content I was doing was the same thing over and over and over again, and it just gets boring. For anyone out there who's a content creator themselves, they may know that if they do the same thing over and over again for a long time, it gets very, very boring, and so in the end you have to kind of switch things up. I was doing non-stop gaming videos, playing most of the same games, doing it by myself, so I want to branch out and do a lot more things. I want to do more Reddit videos like this because I actually enjoy videos like this. I enjoy watching these types of things, and I enjoy being on these subreddits and everything, so I, I wanted to take you guys with me on that. I want to do more Try Not To Laugh videos because I've done those a while back, and I really enjoyed them, so I want to do a some more of them. And for gaming videos, they will still be coming, don't worry, but they won't be as frequent, and I'll be playing more games, and I'll be playing a lot more multiplayer games, most importantly, because I enjoy playing with friends a lot, uh, a lot more recently as well. I enjoy that a hell of a lot more than just doing solo games, so I'm gonna be playing lots more with friends, and it's gonna be pretty cool. And we're gonna be doing new, uh, exciting gameplay videos soon, like I actually have a series coming up, which... You know, it's something that not a lot of YouTubers have uh, done before. Also, another change you may have noticed, the background behind me. I got new lights. So we can either go for like a green color behind me, which I think is really cool, because uh, green is obviously a theme color of the channel. It has been for a while. You've seen it in the hair and everything, and it suits it very well. And it, it lights the room up great. It just looks pretty cool. This is a little bit bright. Might turn it down just a, just, just a little bit. There's still some adjustment to do, but either way, these lights are still really cool. We can go for a purple approach, which is another theme color. It's another one of my favorites. Uh, you've seen I wear a lot of purple clothes. And overall, purple is just a really nice color, and it looks so cool with this aesthetic. And it's going to be used a lot. I cannot wait. This, just, just look at it. Just look at this. This looks awesome. And then we can also go for like a blue approach, which, while not really a theme color for this channel, blue is a nice and relaxing color. We're going to use it for when we're nice and relaxed and everything. So it also looks very, very, very nice. Blue is also a nice color. Uh, so that, that's pretty cool. And then we got red. This is the color we're going to be using for when we're mad, when we're raging mad. So for something like this, we had one job. We can get mad at these people. And here, it's, ver it's, it's fitting. These red lights are very fitting because we're getting mad at these people and also laughing at them, but either way, it suits it. It's red. We're mad. We're mad. I need to calm down a bit, but e either way, yes, it's red. Look, it's lights. Woohoo! Lights. And we can also just like light up the room with these things, which is also cool, but like, that's boring. You know, we want to show off the new stuff, so we're going to switch back to red because it's fitting. There we go. We got red. So now it's time for you had one job. Uh, I think I've been talking for long enough now, but I wanted to show off this stuff. I wanted to talk talk to you guys about about these changes. Anyway, let's actually get into this because I think I've been talking for long enough now. Uh, but I just wanted to explain to you all what some of these changes are. And uh, you may notice I'm in a suit. Yeah, I just thought it was fitting. It's one job, you know? J jobs. It's jobs. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we've got on this subreddit, shall we? Painted those lines, boss. But how? Oh, and this was on Mildly Infuriating as well. Uh, <laughs> already we're off to a pretty damn good start, huh? Okay, okay. I'm gonna say this, whenever I see stuff like this, of like these lines not being painted properly, I just think to myself, how were they hired for these jobs? And how can they screw that up? Like, are they just trying to piss off their boss? Do they just hate their jobs that much? Was this intentional? Or are they really just that bad at their job? In which case, why are they hired? I feel like with those lines, you, you're not just painting them like freehand. I feel like you get something that helps the line be straight when you're painting it, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I've, I've never worked with these jobs before. I don't know anybody, really, I don't think, that works with this kind of stuff. But it's... <laughs> really? Okay. Seriously, how do you not realize... Oh, no! No! <laughs> No, my God! So the the guy on the left, it's, it's, his shirt says, "Guess I'm stupid," and then the girl on the right says, "I'm with stupid," and then an arrow pointing to here. Yet the guys on here, on this side, what? How can they screw that up? That is literally the definition of you had one job. Like if these were taken in the same photo shoot, they should know that they should be on either side. They should be able to notice in the camera, like, wait. They're not on the right, they're not on the correct spots. And if these were two 
people taken on individual photos, the editor of this photo should be able to know, like, once they've placed them, like, oh, wait, they aren't placed right. Let's just switch them around real quick because it's really easy. How? <laughs> I will visit Paris and then Pris. <laughs> My favorite place in the world, Pris. How the hell do they screw this stuff up? Like, how? How? Just how would you screw that up and not realize? Are you drunk on the job? There could be so many explanations. But then again, all just speculation. We may never know why these people screw this stuff up so bad. <laughs> Payback time? I can't read that and then stop the spread of German. <laughs> Germans, really? Oh my God. Like, I think that's just someone who is really bad at English. That's probably someone who's really bad at English and has heard both Germans and germs and then doesn't know the difference, so... And then stop the spread of Germans. But then again, if you're not good at English, wouldn't you have a translator or something? Wouldn't you check if that's correct or something? I don't know. He was really, really confident. This person who wrote this must have been really confident that Germans was the correct word for germs. That's... This is why we should hire more people like this. This is why non-English speakers should be writing English. Yes. I am fucking sweating like crazy. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take my jacket off. It's, it is getting super fucking warm in here. Oh, much better. Nice poster. Oh, 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 no. How, how, how the hell? Did they get that finished? Get that right there finished. And then think to themselves, this is good. We're gonna keep this. How? Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention I'm standing up now. Uh, <laughs> this won't be a permanent change. I'll still be playing games and such sitting down. But for videos like this, I want to be able to move around and jump around and everything like that. Woo, look at the, all the little space I have. I have space. Space. I too have my shower in my living room over a carpet. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's where all the showers are, right? I mean, just under that carpet, that really expensive carpet, right? Then you're standing on that really expensive carpet, the really expensive one. Your shower is here, and here it's like going up like this, and then it just pours down. Oh, you're washing your hair in that shower. It's all really, really good. You realize your carpet's wet, and that's okay. You know, you may just ruin your expensive carpet but that's the point i'm just thinking do they really think people are gonna buy this if you're literally false advertising that's that's literally what they're doing here because it's photoshopped it is photoshopped onto here so who knows if that's even what the real shower is or if they're just trying to scam you because the entire picture is photoshopped it's not even that big come on nobody in their right mind is actually gonna buy this if you're gonna photoshop your fucking picture and not even Fucking take a real one and just fucking false advertise and scam your customers. Who do you think is gonna buy this? Ah, uh, yes, architecture. <laughs> yes, yes, I do that too. I too have my toilet right there in the corner of my stairs. I'll have you know, I actually do have that. That's the perfect place to shit. You're just sitting there shitting, right? And then somebody is up there on the stairs. They're coming down. They're like, oh, Sanders just sitting there shitting in the corner of the stairs. That's perfectly normal. That's where the toilet is. Yeah. This is um, this is the perfect place for the toilet. Where else, where else would you have it? In the bathroom? <laughs> you gotta use that place. You gotta shower in that place. You gotta use it for other things? This is a really good place for the toilet to be. You're not gonna have anything on the stairs anyway, so this is a really good, otherwise useless spot. I call that a win. This is a good place for your toilet to be. That's a win-win situation. Great job. You, you're getting points for that. Extra points for you. All right, lads, that's gonna do it for this episode of r slash one job, where you had one job. Actually, you guys have one job. Click like on this video and subscribe. I mean, you don't have to, but it would be nice, please. But yeah, that was one job. You had one job. Uh, this was really fun. I want to do more videos like this where I go on subreddits and such. If you guys have any subreddits that you would like for me to check out, put down in the comments below. I want to check out some stuff like mildly infuriating and just memes and overall, just, just a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I want to check out like game physics and such when like game glitches go crazy. And I think it's going to be really cool. I know everyone's doing Reddit videos and I know it's... It's kind of a thing where, like, if you're resorting to Reddit videos now, it means that your channel is dead, and 
you're literally in the end game of your channel. Oh my god. But honestly, it's just fun. It's just fun. Videos like this with Try Not To Laughs and Reddit and such, it's just fun to do. You know, like, I know Try Not To Laughs and such like this, some people think like, oh, what's the point? But honestly though, I do think it's really entertaining because when you're watching people be there and, um, you know, looking at these Reddit videos, watching videos and trying to not to laugh, it's like you're sitting there with them and watching it because they also commentate and everything, so you can laugh at it with them, uh, you know, the person that you're watching. It's like you're sitting there with them in a way, and I think that's really, that's really cool concept. I know there's like Reddit videos where they just read the post in like a text to speech voice, and they don't even add anything like a comment or a reaction or anything, just reading it with that text to speech voice. And I do think that's boring. It's lazy. It's it doesn't require any effort, and yet they get millions of views and stuff. You know, all it really is is just taking a screenshot, copy paste the um, uh, the text put it into like a text-to-speech and put that audio in, put it all into fucking Windows Movie Maker or iMovie, whatever you have, it all works. Whatever editor you have, you can do it there. And then just put some background music and then you're good. Then, then you're good. And then name it a clickbait title or something. And then millions of views for you. But when someone, when an actual person is behind the camera or not even behind the camera, but just reading the posts and giving their own comments and such, uh, you know, it's just fun. It's, it's just fun. That's all that I have to say about it. It's just fun. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this too, and uh, let's uh, let's see if we can get some more videos up like this in the future, and uh, I'm excited to post all the videos that I have planned. I hope you guys will enjoy them too. They're going to be very high in effort, and it's going to be really cool. So, uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!